Day four of the Ilka European Masters Championships, that's a mouthful. And one of the things we've been focusing on is the female athletes. And it's been a pretty tough competition so far. Can you introduce yourself and tell us about your, yourself and your main rivals? Um, thank you, Jan. I'm Dema Eisega. I'm from the Netherlands. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Everyone can hear that, of course. Uh, I started laser sailing when I was a master at the age of 35 because I met a guy who sailed laser and he told me when you want to stay with me you have to sail laser so I started sailing laser. Good for him, I'll, I'll shake him by the hand. <laughs> so, but they loved it and he loved it and I loved it and uh, we started sailing and in the first years that I was sailing there were hardly any women. Uh, so there was 2007 um, and every year a few more women came and um, in this regatta we had five women in the masters and also five in the apprentice fleet so we were competing with ten uh, women in one in one race so well we're, we're getting there how how's the racing been for you so far i know it's really close um no nah, not really close the number one is it's way better than the other one but number two and three are really close and number four and five are a bit far, further behind but um the the um, uh, um, the conditions are challenging. Uh, so challenging for everybody, race teams, competitors, even the poor guys trying to get the trolleys. Uh, definitely, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you never know what will happen. And what was it like this year, your build-up for the season? Because uh, this year the Europeans is quite late in the year. Yeah. Next year it's even later. So you've done quite a few regattas so far. Is this your fifth regatta? Uh, it's the fifth international regatta and, and some uh, local regattas. And we plan some sail, to sail more, but I had injury on my hand. Oh, I'm so, sorry to hear um, that. Uh, I can't show it on the camera, but it's <laughs> <laughs> it's the finger. <laughs> and um, so that made me sail for a couple of weeks. Uh, not, not sail for a couple of weeks. You probably miss it more. Uh, yes, definitely. And uh, also the, the first race was my best race. So I felt like um, a dog or a cow in spring um, be, being allowed to go out again. So yeah, I was really happy. Well, that's brilliant. Uh, can you just tell us uh, a little bit about the, the women's fleet as a whole as in just you know there's people at home who should come and join us so yes. encourage them <laughs> um, uh, that's, a, that's a nice question and um, I, I was really pleased when I started that there were a few women um, who wanted to share the experiences with me and one famous lady of course Noah Hillary Thomas um, she, she um, invited me to look what she did she uh, gave me advice so that, that helped me a lot and um, I think the, um, the atmosphere amongst the women is like that. And uh, we have fun with each other uh, on the water, uh, but also on the shore. Um, and that's very important. It's master sailing, so we love to drink a beer <laughs> or a wine afterwards. But to be honest, I drink alcohol, um, what, what do you call it? Um, zero alcohol beer in between. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. But and it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. And uh, tomorrow, day five, the forecast looks really tricky. What, what's your thoughts about that? Um, there's about 12, 13 points between um, number three and me. So I have to defend her. Okay. And, and, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> We're wishing you lots of luck and thanks very much for chatting to us. Thank you.